Hello everyone, welcome to New House Daily where I take a look at every single property that has come on the market today in Los Angeles. Pick my favorite and tell you why. My name is Cameron Stevens. I am a local real estate agent here in Los Angeles. The property that I picked today, I looked through, I believe it was 82 properties that just came on the market. I picked 911 Camden Avenue. I think it's a super cool house in a great location. Take a look and then I'm gonna tell you why. All right, let's start with the high level, the location. I really like this property for the location. I mean, first of all, you are walking distance to Little Osaka, the Sawtelle Strip, with some of the best, uh, well, Japanese food in general, definitely ramen. It's a ramen mecca. The, the, the original Sujita location is there with their Sukemen dipping noodles, which is an LA icon and institution at this point. That being said, you are also close to Westwood Village, which has tons of shops, restaurants, uh, walking places, historic theater. You are close to Century City, which has probably one of the best malls in Los Angeles. Um, so you're pretty, pretty centrally located. You can take Santa Monica Boulevard straight to the beach. You wanna go south, you're right near the 405. You wanna hop on the 10, take that. You're really, really close to a lot of different things. And yeah, you're not too close, right? You're not sitting right on the freeway. You're tucked off in one of those, you know, beautiful little tree-lined streets, uh, you know, on the west side of Los Angeles. So really like the location, spe specifically just being close to Sawtelle, Japantown. It's really awesome over there. Now let's talk about the house itself. It is uh, clearly a Spanish style home that has um, been um, updated. And I like almost everything that they've done here. So they've done a really good job. I like that they've kept the original wood floors. Um, you know, I do uh, appreciate, especially from the exterior of the house, I really like those white breeze blocks. Those are really, really cool. They, they pop, they add a little bit of color and texture. You obviously have those huge um, palms that are coming out on the front that kind of give it that, um, you know, to just add to that Spanish feel, right? Like Spanish architecture and palms of really any type of palm, just they, they go hand in hand, they work. Um, so really like the property from, from the exterior. The interior, I'm a little disappointed that they painted over the beams and the fireplace. Um, really would have loved to see what was there, but I'm not necessarily sure what the condition of that was beforehand. It might've been like, that was a, you know, they had to fix it and then paint it. That would just be my one thing. I kind of wish that they, they had left a little bit more of the original wood trimming, but the floors are super nice. And so they add that um, really nice warmth. I think the fixtures are, are fine. Um, they, they, they work for the style of house. This is definitely a modernized Spanish. Take me to the kitchen, because that's one of my favorite parts of the house. I love this pale olive green. I love the original tile with the, like the, the it looks like to me like it's like grapes and wine country and stuff um, behind the stove, the big arch uh, over that stove. Um, obviously they put in a new hood, but um, they've kept a lot of the original character to the, to the kitchen and that little dining nook. You get all of the, like I just, I love the little wood detail that's been left in all of those built-in cabinetry. Um, it's, it's, it's really fantastic. I like the, the white um, stone 
that's on the rest of the floors throughout the dining room and the kitchen. And then I love that this pale green continues back into the bathroom. So they've kept that original tile. Um, I think it works. I think it holds up really, really well. I think it's that really nice blend of keeping that historic plus modernizing it. I think they really did a good job here. Um, the rest of the house is, is pretty just like, hey, everything's been cleaned up. Everything's been brightened up. Um, it really works. And then, you know, for its location, these aren't huge lots, you know, as you start to get further on the west side, it can start to feel that houses are a little bit on top of each other. It certainly does not feel that way with this one. Um, the backyard has plenty of greenery. I like it for its potential. I, I just think that this is a great space that if you wanted to do a little something extra with, it's kind of a blank canvas. If you wanted to use it for just outdoor entertaining, you could go that way. If you wanted to, it's probably not big enough to put in a huge pool. Um, but what I do like is that they've already kind of set up an outdoor hangout space right over there by the garage on the cement portion. This hits a lot of the right numbers. I mean, you get to go onto the west side. The weather's fantastic over there. It's really temperate. You're close to a lot of things. You've got a historic Spanish house. You get a full 3-2, almost 1,900 square feet. I uh, just really, really like it. I, you know, it hits a lot of those right notes um, for, a, for a house right over there uh, near, near some of the best food in all of Los Angeles.